Hello. Notion. <laughs> So I was looking at different productivity techniques and I came across the Seinfeld technique. Now you may be wondering, what's the deal with the Seinfeld strategy? That's a great question, almost as good as my impression. Now, unlike my other videos, there won't be a free Notion template to download. Instead, I'll just go through what I've created and how that might help you and how that applies to the Seinfeld technique. So there'll be no illegal downloading of templates anymore. You don't wanna be a pirate. So the Seinfeld strategy is about tracking your progress on a specific task every single day and not breaking the chain of consecutive days. Hence this tab up here. Don't break the chain. Don't worry, it, it, there's more stuff here. I know it looks super simple. We've got some templates here and then some stuff down here. It, it, it will all relate together. This technique is super useful for people who struggle with being consistent and staying motivated as it helps create a visual representation of progress and builds momentum over time. By making a commitment to working on a task every single day, even if it's just a small amount, individuals can build a habit and achieve their goals more efficiently. These? <laughs> Yes, yes. Long story short, Seinfeld's advice to get better at something, in this case, it's, you know, his stand-up or his joke writing. What's the deal with airplane food? You have to work on it every single day and not break the chain. So let's go through how you could implement this strategy into your notion. Now, as you can see here, we have a super uh, basic and, and boring calendar here. We've got a few different things. We've got two options that I think would work best for most people in notion. So when you hit plus to uh, add an item here, you have two options, either learn Notion or learn Notion 2. So the thing that I want to do every single day is to learn Notion. That's like the skill that I want to do every single day. So whether that's like learning a new feature that Notion has or, you know, just coming up with new clever ways of utilizing Notion in your everyday or for a specific uh, target audience and, and stuff like that. So I've been putting out a bunch of free templates. Link in the description if you want to download anything, it's all completely free. But yeah, so I'm trying to learn Notion and get better at it every single day. So that is my skill here, learn Notion and learn Notion 2. If I hit learn Notion, the first one, then we have a link to a page that has everything, all of my notes on learning Notion. So as you can see, I created just a, <laughs> a pretty basic um, notes thing here, but basically an embedded video and then some notes. Uh, as you can see, this is not my real notes. This is one way of doing it where you're collecting all your information on a singular page. So I have a few different things that I'm trying to learn. And basically, instead of like taking notes here and there randomly and sporadically, instead you can combine them all into like this one nice page where you can take all of your different notes and house all of your learnings for this one topic or this, you know, one skill that you're trying to develop. Say if it's um, uh, getting better at cooking every single day, instead of just writing some notes here and there randomly, you would just put them all into like this one page where you would keep everything. So here, one thing that I like doing is embedding YouTube videos where I'm learning stuff and then taking notes by the side. Obviously my, my real ones are more detailed than this. But yeah, so that's option one for Seinfeld technique. And then the other option that we have is clicking learn notion two. And then instead for this one, what you would do is instead of going into different places and seeing all your collective notes, Seinfeld's idea of kind of, he uses a yellow notepad. So it's basically, you know, obviously he's a yellow notepad, doesn't have a database and tracking all of that different stuff. It's not, it's just an, a notepad. Um, so the idea for this one would be literally every single day, just open up the Learn Notion 2, lessons of the day and start writing down your stuff for this. Notion is now even cooler. Cool, there's my lesson for the day. So these are the two different options that I have. What I would do is, uh, I'm presuming you have a lot of different categories in your life or different buckets, some people call it, or whatever you wanna call it, but different areas in your life, more than just Notion learnings, but I'll take in Notion learnings for this one. The whole goal of the Seinfeld technique is just to spend some time on it every single day, even if it's just a minute or two, as long as you don't break the chain. So as long as you work on it every single day. So this technique is really for people who really want to like perfect a craft and get really good at something you know if you're doing something as a hobby here and there not take it that seriously not that there's anything wrong with that but this is all about becoming great at your craft so when you're done with your learnings for the day or you know working on your skill for the day then you just hit complete so as you can see here it got removed from my uncomplete checklist so this is a property and filter that i've done in some other videos but i find it really useful to not see my uh, completed tasks here in my calendar. I just want to see my uncompleted tasks so I know what I have coming up ahead. However, there is in the all tasks, you can see all of your different tasks. Obviously, this is a new calendar here, so I do other stuff than just learn Notion. Um, but you can see all of your tasks that you've been doing. So in this view here, you can see every single task that you've done, whether it's completed or not completed. 
And then the last one here, the don't break the chain, that's basically just if it's been labeled as Notion Learnings. So I'll just show you in the filter here. Filter, the one rule where life category is Notion Learnings, that means it's gonna show up here. The goal is, I'm just gonna drag this out, you don't want to ever break the chain. You wanna see that every single day this is filled in. And it gets super motivating to see like, you know, let's tick this in as well as complete. Get super motivating to see, okay, I've been working on all, I've, I've worked on this skill or uh, whatever it is every single day. I don't wanna miss a day. I wanna make sure that I do it every single day. Another quick thing to point out, all of these are actually the same database. They just have different filters on them. It's the same database with different views and those different views have different filters. This way we'll only be using one database table so there won't be a lot of da 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 da. So that's my quick tip on how to use the Seinfeld technique in Notion. I, I hope you like these Seinfeld references. I'm finding it slightly cringy to say them. Thanks for watching. Okay, see you next week. Bye.